Methylene blue. Have you heard about it? Maybe you have. Maybe you haven't. There's more research that's been coming out that talks about methylene blue, not only for systemic health benefits, but also for vision support. So we're going to talk about that right now. So methylene blue was about 100 years ago. It was created as a textile dye, right? Obviously the color blue. And they found out that there was health benefits to using methylene blue. So what I want to talk about right now, because some of you guys have been asking about methylene blue and how it could benefit vision, I want to talk to you about the potential benefits of methylene blue for degenerative vision loss. Methylene blue, I often refer to as MB. So if you hear me say MB, B as in boy, methylene blue, that's what I'm talking about. So there's a few factors and a few functions that methylene blue can provide to help with vision. All right. So the first thing we're going to look at is protection. All right. Neuro, uh, methylene blue is a really, really effective at protecting cells, specifically nerve cells. So it can, the research that's shown up that I found were particularly focused on the retinal ganglion cells. Okay. And what happened is the research showed the following that it supported degenerative diseases in terms of supporting the retinal ganglion cells, diseases like glaucoma, optic nerve issues, uh, as well as retinal issues. So again, we're talking about things like glaucoma, uh, naion, optic nerve strokes, uh, retinal strokes, uh, macular degeneration, diabetic retinopathy, retinitis pigmentosa, anything that is retinal or optic nerve or macular in terms of a degenerative process. So what happens is the methylene blue supports mitochondrial function. Now, if you've been following me, you know I talk at nauseum about mitochondria function, which are these small organelles that help with all the functions in our body. We can't function. There's no energy without the mitochondria, which produces ATP, helps with repair, regenerate, repair and regeneration, and overall functionality, productivity. So the MB supports mitochondrial function this way by enhancing the electron transport. Uh, and what that means pretty much is it, it preserves the cell's vitality and functionality. So when the mitochondria get beat down and beat up by the free radicals or inflammation or any other toxins or pollutions in the body, they, a lot of things happen. And again, we have a whole module on that. But basically, they will start, stop producing energy. They will produce more inflammation, more uh, free radicals, and they will engage in a hyperactivity of apoptosis. So what that means is they will accelerate a early destruction of healthy cells. Apoptosis is a natural process where the mitochondria target sick or damaged cells or those who have exhausted their cellular repl replication and we need new cells, right? They're old cells, they're beat up. So apoptosis is the destruction of the old cells to, old cells to be replaced with the new cells. So, <clears throat> excuse me, if the mitochondria are not working, what's gonna happen is that's gonna be premature and the mitochondria is going to signal to accelerate destruction of healthy retinal and optic nerve cells. Big problem. So methylene blue will protect, reduce that uh, hyperactivity of apoptosis through protecting the mitochondria. Um, again, things like glaucoma, optic nerve issues, optic neuritis, and a whole host of retinal inflammatory conditions. So that's the first factor. The second factor is, we kind of hinted to this a little bit earlier, is that uh, methylene blue reduces oxidative stress in the retina, in optic nerve. Um, specifically, the retina is a very high metabolic rate. Those of you guys know that the retina is the highest oxygen, oxygen consuming tissue in the body for its size, and it's very, very vulnerable to oxidative stress, right? We know that. So, what happens is methylene blue acts as an antioxidant to neutralize the reactive oxygen species, the free radicals, and supports the oxidation reduction balance called the redox balance in the retina, which is tissue specific, right? Retina, optic nerve, the whole visual system. So it models, uh, it's basically inside models of retinal degeneration, uh, methylene blue has shown promise in slowing down degeneration. 
So that's what we're after. We also know that in larger studies, methylene blue can help with things like cognitive function. It helps slow down uh, dementia, um, Parkinson's, things like Alzheimer's. So it slows down central nervous system degeneration, whether it's the eyes or the brain, okay? So again, things like macular degeneration, RP, any retinal or um, optic nerve issue that is vulnerable and sensitive to uh, free radical damage. So it's really, really gonna help neutralize those. The third important factor is it improves, again, mitochond mitochondrial function through activating the, uh, the, the, the faulty parts of mitochondrial as they get beat up, what's called the mitochondrial electron transport chain. And it basically helps the mitochondria to produce more energy. It keeps the engine going. And we need that, again, for repair, for regeneration, for cells, for the optic nerve, and for, again, the macula and retina. So methylene blue acts as a mitochondrial electron shuttle, right? Where particularly used for cells with compromised uh, cell activity, right? Especially in, in cases like glaucoma, they talk a lot about this. So very, very important. So the fourth main benefit is its anti-inflammatory effects, right? Bet you didn't know that either. So chronic inflammation, as we know, is one of the main factors that drive accelerated vision loss. Controlling inflammation is important. Methylene blue is one factor that can really help with controlling retinal degeneration, right? Optic nerve, retinal, macula, so on and so forth. So it inhibits, the specific mechanism is that it inhibits the pro-inflammatory cytokines and nitric oxide synthase. It produces more nitric oxide to dilate the blood vessels so that we can get more oxygen to the retina, the macula, and the optic nerve. All right? So um, the one thing that I need you guys to know, those are the highlights in terms of telling you guys what methylene blue can do for vision. There's one very, very important thing that you guys need to know. So if those of you who take SSRIs or MAOI inhibitors, serious contraindications for that. So again, if you're taking like antidepressants or MAOI inhibitors, like do not take methylene blue because it'll build up um, serotonin in the brain and also can dramatically dis dysregulate the um, MAOI. Okay, so very, very important. If you're taking those or you're on those, please do not take. That does not go for supplements that help boost serotonin. Okay, it's just the meds. If you're on any meds, any SSRIs, NA, any MAO, AI, MAOIs, again, uh, do not take methylene blue, but everything else, you're totally kosher. Now, how is it taken? It's a liquid, you take a dropper full, drop it in water, mix it up, drink it down. I do it in the mornings. I Here's what I do. I actually mix it with my hydrogen tabs, right? Super potentize my molecular hydrogen. So I'll drop the hydrogen tabs in 12 ounces of water, wait for them to dissolve. Then I'll drop the methylene blue and stir it around, drink it down. That is my first morning routine. So methylene blue, uh, reach out. Let us know if you have any other questions on that. We're going to be posting some more research on that. Another interesting topic in terms of things that can help save your sight. Dr. Andy Rosenfarb here with AccuVision. Your vision is our mission. See you soon.